Charleston is a unique place in the history of African Americans. It is the place where the slave ships brought Africans to this country, head to toe, like sardines, and then docked in Charleston. This is where they began their long and agonizing journey into the night. When these slaves got off the boat and they got into the Christian religion, at the beginning, this was their sanctuary. This was where they began to feel something about Christ and about the deliverance from their daily routine, from the hardships, from the pain. What happened at Mother Emmanuel is not unique to African Americans. It is a part of the journey from which we've come. This is a crisis of multiple meanings. It's redemption, it's slaughter, it's tears, it's all of those things. James Weldon Johnson wrote a poem in 1900 called Lift Every Voice and saying, two verses stand out. We have come over a way that with tears has been watered. We have come treading our path through the blood of the slaughtered. That is the story of Mother Emmanuel. That is a story of many African Americans, especially in churches. The church is the sanctuary. Sometimes African Americans wear a mask when they're outside. Uh, they smile and they hurt and they cross over things. Uh, but in the church, they could release themselves. And that is why this series has been so important and so difficult to me. What happens 50 years from now when the viewer looks at these paintings? Can an artist invest in them the humanity, the tragedy, the pain, the suffering that he felt when he painted Mother Emmanuel? Can he elicit these kinds of reactions from viewers even after they have forgotten what Mother Emmanuel was like, the viewer who looks at the work brings his own experiences to what the artist has produced. But Mother Emmanuel is important because that is the place where so much of our history occurred. That is the place that connects almost directly to that ship that I spoke to you about. So the shooter knew that and he wanted to get that kind of impact. But the grace of Mother Emmanuel is the thing that carried us through the day and the thing that America sees now. But how did they arrive at that place? How do you arrive at having somebody kill your loved ones, slaughter them, walking in that blood, and then coming to a point where you say, I forgive them? And that's what I struggle with. That's why doing this series is perhaps the most difficult thing I've attempted. Because as I moved through the series, I knew that I had to transition from the bloodiness, the ghastly horror of its beginning to the beauty of its ending. And to do that, I had to find a way using color and shape and form to do that. We know that nine people died, so the figure nine is there. We know how they died, and so the flag is there. We know that it was targeted, so the target is there. And what I feel is that the tragedy changed our state in a way that I had not seen before. I think for us that was a shining moment where people came together, not because of the color of their skin, but because the humanness in their heart. I think for the first time, we started communicating with each other heart to heart instead of head to head. At least for one shining moment, we came together. And I hope that the series records that moment. If anything can be taken away from the series, 
it can be said that it records our finest moment. And if people remember that, then as an artist, I would be completely satisfied. <laughs>